Hey guys. What's up, Toosters and Two Bets? Y'all see my boy Pancho looking all dapper in his uniform. He got his uniform. They got to see you. They got to see you. Y'all see Pancho, man. Y'all see it, man. We had to look professional right here, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Man, y'all been asking about uh this one here, old Bruce Lee. So we back on Bruce Lee, man. Bruce Lee out of jail. So we back on Bruce Lee. We marking up some seats. Got a few brackets. Got a dynamat. Gotta fix a hole over there in the flow. Nothing crazy. So we about to install, get this, the vintage air installed. Get, get that big plug right there welded up. Round here gonna get in and Start doing all the wiring for the system. Y'all see we got the headliner. You know we put that suede woof up in there. Started wrapping the trims. So we finna keep this one rolling. We did a little console for it. Waiting on the shifter to come. So we'll see about for its placement for the shifter. Of course, you know we got two cup holders. Uh, USB port for the music, LED lights, a few LED light plugs, uh, you know, it is on air ride, so we got to find somewhere to incorporate the, uh, the up and down switches. We also added, uh, a sub, so we put in 110 in the console as you can see um, I think we got about a little over a cubic foot for this sub here what we're running what we're running in this one so we did build it on the bottom of the console so everything is nice and compact it got pretty tight in that sucker before we know it so it should look should pretty good once it's done sound pretty good once it's done um, he's not looking for nothing crazy. Like you say, 110, maybe four mids and highs. Keep on trucking. <laughs> you know what they say, you can't truck with us. Putting the LS in it, little 5.3. We put him some new eyeballs in there. He put the Phantom grill on. So he's 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 coming along. He's pretty clean. It's about nice height. A good height for it. So we've been working on the dash today. Uh, getting the rear defroster vents, everything in place. Getting it cut, making it fit. So we've been doing all that part today. Let me show y'all what, what we got done. Flat line. Y'all see flat line. Y'all know flat line on the forges. All right, Bruce Lee. So I took the, what is this? The defrost. I took the defrost vents out of Cadillac CTSV. I cut it down. And now we're molding it in to the dash of the Silverado. So we're molding that in. As you can see, we're going to pull all of the foam. You got to take all of the foam and all of the old material off if you're going to do a dash swap. You can't put new material over top of old material, man. Your glue will not stick long. Once it start warming up, it's probably going to start letting go. So, that's what we do with that. Like I said, we always pull all of the old material off. So, that makes sure that our material, it sticks, it lasts, and our glue really works. So, as this proceed to dry here, we're going to get on to the next part, which is getting the console wrapped. I think. 
But we got this one cut down to size. It's going to fit in there perfect. Now, you can see this that 2015. Dash we're putting in there. All of the silver pieces. He's going to probably paint those green to match the truck. We're doing... Actually, we're doing a British tan. We're doing a British tan on the inside uh, with a green stitch. With a dark green stitch to bring everything together. We're finna get on the horn with Dakota Digital. Get us some gauges in there. Yeah, this British tan should look real nice up against that green. Yep. So once it's done... It should fit like flat line once I get through. Y'all see where we at? We still in the lab. We still in the lab. Putting the pieces together. So that's about that on Bruce Lee, man. Bruce Lee coming along pretty good. Once we get the dash in here secured, we're going to start marking up the door panels. Round come back and wire up the headlights. Uh, the windshield wipers. Um, I think he want to do a push start. So I think a push start. Start running the wires to the doors. Power windows, of course. And, hey man, that's about that on that. Yeah, I know these seats look a little funky. Y'all get a good look of them now. Y'all get a good look of them now. We had to get something for the right height. Something that was the right height for this truck with that new dash. It has to sit low. It was either that or some racing seats. That was the second option. But I got these out of another truck. They should. They'll fit nice. They'll look nice once we do them. Make our own pattern and design out of them. And get them locked in the house. Like I said, he do got the LS in there. Everything's sitting in there. Round here, come back and start doing the wiring. Buy his ass up and get him up out of here. Till next time, man. I'll be back in a minute.